Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. This is Forest Stories. I am the poet in the forest, a children's series that I pinned out in the 1990s. Now, none of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I talk about it so much that I thought maybe it's time that you get to know what has inspired me for 30 years. Thanks for being a part of the conversation. Welcome back to the forest. When you know something isn't right, this is going to sound kind of odd, but maybe in your own way, you'll understand. In this forest, it's not that we live in a Home Depot or a Lowe's design forest because it's very, very open. You step into this forest, you're going to see fallen limbs. You're going to see trees that grew awkwardly wrong, but it seems right. But the homes that are in this forest have been pruned. They look nice. But when you know there's something wrong, when the lawns aren't being cut and the tree limbs are still laying on their lawns, not necessarily in the forest, on their lawns. We just recently had a situation where I was speaking to a man that I've known for many, many, many years. I didn't think there was anything wrong with our conversation. We spoke openly many times about walking up and down Heartbreak Hill. But his lawn was hardly, if ever, cut. I didn't realize that he had Alzheimer's. See, from the outside, I don't judge a book by its cover until you see something different about the lawn. I ask many questions. Maybe it's because he's old. Maybe his lawnmower is broken down. People would come by and offer to cut his lawn, but he didn't. Alzheimer's. And now he's in a retirement home. The house sits empty. A vacant spot in the forest from a man who loved his side of the forest so much. At the base of Heartbreak Hill, the big yellow house, its lawn hasn't been cut for a few weeks. It makes you wonder, what's going on? And is it really any of my business? Your lawn, it says a lot about you. And as I pass the beekeeper's part of the forest right now, his lawn is out of control too. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him since the day he hung the sign that he has his honey up for sale. It's been there now several weeks. When I know in the past, in this forest, his honey is usually gone within a few days. A lot to think about as the forest evolves. Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation.